Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, uh, my name is Caitlin. And this is kind of a weird video for you to stumble upon, but hey, you're here. <laughs> um, today I wanted to talk about health. We're not going to be talking about makeup or books or games or anything like that. We're going to be talking about my health in particular, very specifically my health. And I just have to preface this by saying that your health is your own. And I think as long as you are healthy, as long as you are happy, as long as your body is not impairing your ability to live or move or be healthy, then I think that you can do pretty much whatever you want with your body. Um, try not to hurt yourself, don't hurt others, and like I said, I'm talking about me and myself today and how I'm feeling, um, so please don't have this be a reflection on what I think of other people or anything like that. This is simply me and my own thoughts and feelings about myself. I have been in a very bad depression since May. And that might not seem like a long time, but before that, my longest depression had probably been like maybe two weeks um, after being diagnosed and starting my antidepressant and my anti-anxiety medication. And I have been in emotional hell, basically, for months. And the biggest reason for that, obviously I have depression and anxiety. I have a chemical imbalance um, in my brain that makes me feel the way that I do. And I take medication daily to help myself feel more stable and happier and better about my life. Um, but I think probably the biggest contributing factor is just that I haven't been taking care of myself physically. And I know that I haven't been. And when you have depression, it's very hard to take care of yourself physically anyway. But I have been feeling so awful about the way that I look and more importantly, the way that I feel. I constantly hide in my clothes. I always make sure I have a jacket or a sweater or sweatshirt on because I don't like how much weight I'm carrying in my stomach. I constantly try and have my hair down because I feel like it looks my, makes my face look more slender. I wear my glasses probably a lot more than I need to. I generally only use them when I'm on the computer. Um, or if I'm like reading for a very long time, like studying or something like that, or if I know that I want to read for a couple of hours, then I'll put my glasses on. But I've been wearing them a lot more, especially out and about, because I feel like they hide my face more and they give my face more structure. I can't tell you the last time that I left the house without makeup on because my skin has been very, very bad. Um, I'm constantly using camera angles like these where you're a lot higher up because then I feel like you can't see the full extent of how heavy I am. Um, and in general, I've just been hiding. And I don't like that feeling and I don't like doing that to myself and I don't like the example that it's setting for Ella. 
I've always been heavy. Um, I'm built like a brick shit house, basically. Um, and I always have been, and I always will be. I have very large hands, I have very large feet, I have very large wrists, my hips are very wide, I have very, very broad shoulders, and I have a big ass head. And I will always have those things. Those are things that are innately built into my bone structure. Um, but that's not why I'm overweight. I'm overweight because I am not watching what I'm eating. And I don't mean watching what I'm eating, like diligently tracking every bite that goes into my mouth. I mean, I'm not feeding my body fruits and vegetables daily. I am not watching things like the amount of lactose I'm consuming. I am lactose intolerant, so a lot of my baking is vegan. Um, I generally try and have very little dairy in the day. Um, I generally will prefer to drink um, like a juice or a hot tea or something like that that doesn't have to have any sort of milk or anything like that in it um, because dairy just really messes with my stomach and it makes me break out. Same thing with excess amounts of sugar. Um, whenever I have a lot of sugar, my skin always breaks out really, really badly. And it's not just like a little pimple here or there. I get huge cystic breakouts along my jawline and on my cheeks and on my top lip. And not only are they painful, but they're also embarrassing. Um, my hormonal acne has been worse than ever because I've just been... I guess giving myself a free pass when it comes to having a menstrual cycle for some reason, which I've never been that way before. I've always, you know, said, you know what, it's just a part of my life. I need to just get through it. I give myself a day to kind of, normally it's the first or second day of my menstrual cycle and I just kind of take it easy. I don't work out. I watch what I'm eating, but you know, I really focus on going for a walk or two. I focus on doing things that make me happy, that are low impact, um, things that make me comfortable in my own body. And, you know, I'll, on those days, I'll generally like take a nap or something like that in the middle of the day if I can swing it sort of thing. And it's been like the full week I take a nap every single day and I refuse to do anything pretty much and I basically become a human blob that just sits on the couch and only leaves the house in order to go get snacks from the convenience store in our town. And while well, that's super embarrassing to admit, for me that's just the reality of the situation. We basically, I was going and getting M&Ms, Reese's, gummies of some kind, caramels, Jolly Ranchers, Hot Cheetos, um, Doritos, Pepsis, Wild Cherry Pepsis, Lime Cokes, Normal Cokes, ice cream, ice cream sandwiches, uh, several times a week, sometimes every day during the week. I was also drinking more than I normally drink. Um, I am not a huge drinker at all and I was having like a full cider every single day, which was a lot for me. Um, I, at one point in my life, had so much discipline and dedication, consistency, drive, and now I'm seeing in myself that I have lost those things. It used to be that I would say, you know, okay, I'm going to get a blog post up today and I would just do it. I'm going to get a video up today and I would just do it. I would set a schedule for myself and those things would get done. 
and I'm not like that anymore. I set a schedule for myself and I find that halfway through the day I'm uninterested in doing anything about that schedule and that's awful for me. I used to be an avid reader. I don't do that anymore. I used to love playing video games. Don't do that anymore. Board games. Don't do that anymore. I sit on the couch and I scroll through apps, um, especially YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And that's just all I do. I get jealous over people who are successful very easily. I have been basically resentful of people who are successful and even though I know that they're working I make excuses as to why I'm not losing the weight when in reality it just comes down to the fact that I'm not trying and I'm not that type of person. I never have been. I've always had immense dedication to whatever I set my mind to and I've lost that these couple of months. On YouTube, I've been trying to get back to my roots. I've been trying to figure out why I haven't been feeling like myself. And everything comes down to the fact that I'm not treating my body correctly. Like, I want it to be treated. I want to eat, you know, the appropriate amount of fruits and vegetables. I want to kick this sugar habit that I have and basically the sugar addiction that I have, this food addiction that I have. And I'm not going to sit here and say that it's on par with any sort of drugs or alcohol or anything like that. Um, but overall, this has m my lack of motivation and dedication and willpower has been destroying my life and I don't I don't want to end up sick and dying because I just wanted to have one one more bite of Cheetos, one more crumb cake, one more popsicle. Like I don't want that for myself. And I'm not going to go and I'm not going to totally cut sugar out of my diet. I'm not going to totally cut this out of my diet or that out of my diet. The only thing that I'm really, really, really going to focus on cutting back on is any sort of lactose because, again, it really makes me feel sick. Um, but, again, that's more about making my body feel good, not restricting myself in any sort of... I guess, unreasonable way. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to drastically cut my calories. I'm not going to start working out for two or three hours a day. I'm going to get a workout plan and follow that. I'm going to start doing cardio two to three times a week. I have two dogs that I take for three walks a day, so that's going to continue. And overall, I'm going to just fuel my body with what I need to. So um, for those of you who don't know, I had a fitness account called Nerd Alamode Eats. I'm not going to have that anymore. It'll probably still be up just because it's going to take me a while to, um, you know, write down all the workouts that I've gotten from there and make sure that I'm like following all the people that I follow on there on Instagram and stuff like that. But overall, I'm not going to be posting on there anymore. Everything is going to be consolidated onto Nerdella mode. I'm not going to be posting really like fitness pictures on my timeline. Um, I'm, or like on my Facebook page or anything like that, but I am going to be putting them in my stories. Um, I'm going to be doing, you know, what I eat in a days on this channel and I want to do weekly or bi-weekly fitness vlogs. Now I don't have a vlogging camera and my phone microphone is broken, so the audio is really garbled. 
Um, so instead I'm going to be doing a lot of check-ins and then anywhere where I'm kind of like out and about and doing physical stuff or showing you what I'm eating or whatever, it's probably just going to have music over it with maybe some, some subtitles or something like that. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a different format that I'm used to, but I don't think it's going to be anything too hard to understand or distracting or anything like that. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of check-ins here. Um, I want to show you guys just my progress, and I know that it's not going to be linear. I know that I'm not just going to lose in a straight line. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of hard work and dedication, and I'm ready to give myself that dedication. I'm ready to give myself that time, that energy, that effort that I put into my the, the rest of my life, basically. I'm not feeling, you know, like I'm out of my depressive episode or anything like that. I'm just trying to move forward with it. If anything changes with any of my medication or anything like that, I'll let you guys know. If I go and see my doctor, I'll let you guys know. But overall, I want to stop feeling the way that I'm feeling. I want to stop feeling like I'm setting a bad example for my daughter. Um, you know, other things that are going to play a big role in this are also, you know, cutting back on my time spent on social media, which you guys are probably not going to see because I'm not like a big like Twitter user. I'm not just like on Twitter all day. I'm not like commenting on everybody's pictures on Instagram and stuff like that all day but I'm basically scheduling kind of like office hours for myself and that means that I'm going to be you know not only working diligently during the day when I can but also you know I'm gonna have you know 30 minutes where I'm on Instagram and I'm commenting on pictures and replying to comments and stuff like that and I'm going to have you know 30 minutes on YouTube where I'm replying to comments and whatnot but overall um, you know my videos I want them to still go up at 6 p.m. I still want to do what's for lunch um, that sort of thing and I just hope that you guys don't mind a little bit of the change in content. Um, I'm also going to be going through my channel and I'm going to be removing some videos that I just don't want to have up anymore. Um, and overall just kind of finding myself. And maybe you guys will notice a difference, maybe you won't, that's okay. If you don't, it's okay if you do. <laughs> but overall, I just wanted to talk with you guys, kind of get this off my chest and say that I appreciate all of you who are here in real life and online life and I really hope that this helps someone out there with whatever they're struggling with. Um, if you need that little boost of motivation, I really hope that I can give that to you. Um, if you are on your own health journey, if you want to start it with me, then, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know where you're at. That's the whole reason of why I want to do this. So this is kind of... kind of <laughs> the start of a new series, I guess. I know it's a very somber start to the series, but I wanted to sit down and have a very candid conversation with you guys. Um, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.